guru made for you. Okay, let's look at this problem right here. A boat travels 12 miles downstream in two hours, and the return upstream takes three hours. What is the rate of the boat in still water, and what is the rate of the current? So let's look at this for a second. So what is this asking us? So it's saying a boat can travel 12 miles downstream. Downstream. Downstream means that when you have a boat, say we have a boat, and it's in the water. It's in the water. So if you're in a river, then the current is going to go one direction. So let's say the current is going this way. So the current is going to take you this way because the current makes the water move. So the current has a speed. So the current has a speed. And the boat also has a speed, right? So if you're going with the current, so if you're going, let's say if you're going this way, then your speed would be your speed, which let's say is r, which is rate of the boat, and plus the rate of the current, because the current is also going to take you along, along with your speed. So it's going to be the rate of the current plus the rate of your boat. But when you're coming back upstream, you're going to be going slower because you're going to be fighting the current. The current's always going to go this way. But when you're trying to go this way, you're going to fight the current. So your speed, instead of the rate of your boat plus the current, it's going to be the rate of your boat minus your current. Because you're fighting the current. You want to go against the current. So let's keep this. I'm going to erase this diagram. But I'm going to keep these two expressions. R plus C and R minus C. Because in just a sec we'll be using those. Okay, let's go back to this. So we have a table. So as usual we're going to use it. So let's put this one as downstream. And let's put this one as upstream. And we have a little equation up here, a little formula-ish thing. It's rate times the distance. I mean, I'm mean, sorry. Rate times time is equal to distance. So we want to know what the rate of your, what's the speed going downstream? Well, we just talked about that. It's R plus C. R plus C is going to be a rate going downstream. And R minus C is going to be a rate going upstream. And we have a time here. It says that the boat traveled downstream in two hours. So, two. And it took three hours to go upstream. So the distance is going to be 12 miles. 12 miles, right? Because it says we travel 12 miles downstream. And the return, the return upstream. So that means we're going to be coming back that same distance. So 12 miles. So now we have, if we read, now if you read this across, we have an equation. We have two equations. So we can use the system of equations to solve. So, if we read across, let me just get rid of this. If we read across, we get 2 times r plus c is equal to 12, and 3 times r minus c is equal to 12. Instead of distributing, what we can do now is divide by 2. Because if we divide by 2, we would get r plus c is equal to 6, and if we divide by 3, we get r minus c is equal to 4. Now it makes it really easy because we have opposites, so we can just use the addition and subtraction method. So we cancel out the c's, we get 2r is equal to 10, so r is equal to 5. So r, as we mentioned earlier briefly, r is the rate of your boat in still water. So if there was no current at all, we would be going at 5 miles an hour. 
So now we just plug it back in the equation to find the rate of the current, because we still need to find that. So we have 2 times 5 plus c, or instead of plugging into that one, we know that these equations are equivalent. So we can just plug it into this, because it's going to be way easier. So 5 plus c is equal to 6, so c is equal to 1. So that means that, therefore, Therefore, the rate of the current is one mile an hour, and rate of boat in still water is five miles an hour. So, miles an hour is mi slash h. So that's our first equation which is going to be about water current. Next problem we're going to be looking at wind problems. Okay, so this is going to be our wind problem. Before we had a water current problem, now it's going to be about an airplane. So an airplane whose speed is 760 kilometers an hour in still air can travel 2,000 kilometers with the wind in the same time it takes to travel 1,800 kilometers against the wind. What is the speed of the wind? So we're going to put the chart the same way. And wind problem is going to be the same as water current problems. Wind problems, the wind pushes the airplane with the wind speed. So it would be R plus W with R being the rate of the plane and W being the wind speed. While C was the water current speed. So we're just I'm just putting W as the variable instead of C. So let's get started. So for this one I'm gonna say with the wind. And for this one I'm gonna say against the wind instead of upstream and downstream. And same thing, rate times time is equal to distance. So, do we know what the rate of the plane in still air is? Yeah, we do. It's 760 kilometers an hour. So, instead of putting R as our rate, we're going to put 760. 760 plus... Do we know the speed of the wind? No, we don't, because the speed of the wind is what we need to find. So, we're going to assign W and 760 minus W. Do we know what the time is? No, we don't know how long it takes either. We just know it takes two, the same time to travel 2,000 and 1,800. So the variable is going to be the same for time because for the distance we're going to put 2,000 and 1,800. And it says it takes the same time. So I'm going to assign X for both, because it's the same amount of time. So, we now we have our variables. We have x times 760 plus w is equal to 2000, and x times 760 minus w is equal to 1800. With this, instead of dividing by x, I'm going to distribute this time. I'm going to get 760x plus wx equals 2,000 and 760x minus wx is equal to 1,800. So we can cancel out the wx. So we can so we can cancel out the wx. So we can cancel out the wx to get 760 times 2 is 1520x is equal to 3800. Now if you divide 3800 by 1520, we get 1520 goes in 2 times to get 
three zero four zero, which leaves us with zero, six, seven sixty, seventy six hundred, and seven sixty is the half of fifteen twenty, so it would be two point five because five times fifteen twenty is seventy six hundred. So x is equal to two point five. So it takes two and a half hours to travel the same distance with the wind and against the wind. I mean, the same amount of time to travel these distances would be 2.5 hours. But we want to find the speed of the wind. So I'm going to plug it back in to the first one. So uh, let me clear some space up so I can do that. I'm going to do... Take this out. So then x is equal to 2.5. X, oops. X is equal to 2.5. So we have our equations here. We have 760 times 2.5 plus 2.5 w is equal to 2,000. So we get that 760 times 2.5 would be 1520, and half of 760 would be 380 to get 1900. So 1900 plus 2.5 W equal to 2000. The so 2.5 W is equal to 100. So we divide 100 by 2.5. So we get 440. So the speed of the wind, therefore, speed of the wind is equal to 40 kilometers an hour. And that's how you solve wind and water current problems using a system of linear equations. Thanks for watching. Guru.